Hello, everybody. My name is Philip, and I'm from the VoiceForm team. For those of you that don't know what VoiceForm is, we are a conversational AI survey platform that integrates well with Salesforce. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use VoiceForm and what we're all about. Let's go ahead and log into our account. So what we see here is like a standard login, email, password. We're going to go ahead and log in, and it'll take us to our home base or our dashboard, as we call it. On the left-hand side, we have our teams that we're a part of. So if you have different teams, you can always kind of separate those and dive into voice forms within that team. Within our team here, so we're part of the pitch team, we have our demo voice form. We can kind of change the view to a list view. I actually kind of like that. Um, or we can just get started with creating a brand new voice form. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and click create voice form. And there's three ways we can do so. So we can either start from scratch. That's where you build the questions on your own. You type them out on your own and really design it uh, from scratch, as it says. You can use one of our templates with some common use cases, such as NPS voice forms or CSAT voice forms. Or you can even generate a voice form using AI. Just for the sake of today's demo, we're going to go ahead and start from scratch. We'll click start from scratch. We're going to name it. We're going to call it the Salesforce integration demo. And we're creating a feedback form. We'll click create form. And there we have it. This is our voice form builder, as we like to call it. It's a four step process. It's super straightforward. And we're going to dive into it right away. So on the left hand side, we this is where we can start adding questions. And the typical first thing that a respondent would see would be a welcome page. So let's say we want to have a welcome page that says, thanks for being a, in this case, we'll say voice form customer. But if it, based on your company, it would be your brand name, obviously, and then something like we'd like, we'd love your feedback. And so there's a few best practices that we've learned with the welcome page. And we've learned that if you're distributing a voice form within product or within a pop-up, maybe through a post chat experience through service cloud, it's actually a better idea to hide your welcome page. You want your respondent to dive right into your voice form. So we're going to go ahead and click this little eye and hide the welcome page. From here, we're going to start adding questions. So we're going to add our first question. And typically what we're seeing is customers getting started with a net promoter score question. Pretty standard. We all know the NPS um, program. So we're going to click net promoter score and we're going to type how likely are you to recommend us to a friend? Pretty straightforward. We've all seen this type of question, but what voice form is known for and um, what kind of sets us apart from the competition is I would say our voice response and audio questions. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. So we'll click voice response and it looks a little bit something like this. So the goal here is to understand why are people giving us a eight out of 10 or a three out of 10, depending on the experience. We can collect those scores, but if we don't capture the actual qualitative insight behind it, there's not much change we can do and there, we, we can't really improve on the process if we don't know what to improve on. And the best way to have um, your customers share their thoughts with you is with their voice. So we created voice form. So we'll say, why did you give your score? Please explain. And you can also give them the option to respond with text. So we see um, respondents that choose the voice option, typically give five to six more times more information per question. And then when you toggle something that we call AI probing, uh, that doubles or triples depending on the amount of follow-ups you generate. So what this is, you're, I'm, I'm saying a bunch of words right now, which may not make sense, but what this is, is what we found is the best thing about, let's say a customer interview or a call is the ability to probe the customer or a respondent based on something they bring up, something that may not have been a structured question. And so we've launched this feature called AI probing that does exactly that. So we're going to 
enable this to have two follow-ups. So this question would have two subsequent follow-ups based on um, what the respondent said. So we'll say, find out why the respondent gave their score for NPS. And if there are, and if they have any ideas on how we can improve the product. Great. So what that's going to do is by setting your goal, you actually guide the questions. You guide what the AI asks the respondent. And we see this kind of conversational experience um, to actually boost response rates and help you collect much more data. So we're going to go ahead and demo this shortly, but let's go through a few more important things. So you can always design these voice forms to, to ultimately fit your brand. So let's say we want to add a logo. We can always add our logo here. So let's see if we have one. I think we do. Yep, we do. So you can pop your logo in there on the top left corner. We have a number of themes that you can choose from. Uh, I kind of like that, the blue and white. Um, I like that one too. That's clean. Um, and then you can kind of also change it based on your brand colors if you really want to get um, make it perfectly fit with your brand, which I do recommend. Um, as we go back to the question, you can always upload images to a question. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you kind of what that looks like. So let's say we want to upload an image to this question. Maybe we want to collect some feedback on an image. We'll pop that in there. Oh, I chose a blurry one, but that's okay. We have two images there. That's actually two different versions of our logo. Uh, one is an older version. So you can always upload images. You can also upload audio directly to the question or record audio. So the respondent can actually um, hear your voice, and which is a really cool kind of thing. You can also upload video. So you can have your respondent watch a video before completing a voice form. And the final step is having a goodbye page here. So maybe thanks for your feedback. You rock. But let's say we want to take this one step further and, and um, separate the people that gave a good score from a not so good score. Let's do so. So we're going to add another voice response question. We'll say, why? How can we improve our product? And so let's say this is a voice response question for everyone that answers a four and below. So we're going to jump into logic right here. And we're going to set up our conditional logic. So we do have pretty robust conditional logic. So we'll say is lower or equal, we'll do five actually, lower to equal than to five, then go to three. And then we're gonna make sure that anyone that answers question two, then submit. And you can also have um, questions redirect to another web page if you'd like, or um, you can have them drop off out of the survey if maybe they don't qualify. As we keep moving along, um, the step of creating the voice form has ultimately been completed. So from there, you would then begin your integration process. And given that this is a demo for our Salesforce integration, there's a few steps to take. We are making a separate video that you'll find in our kind of listing here, but all you do is click on data mapping and you would get started here. We also have a very robust, um, help center that you can kind of figure out and we can actually help you integrate the response data directly into your Salesforce dashboard. So make sure to watch the other video that you see in our listing. From here, once we have everything set up and integrated, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it's like to actually fill this out um, and, and do this kind of conversational experience. So we're going to do this in real time and imagine that we actually received this, maybe it's in product after a chat experience. This does fit well within the chat or on mobile, it's really great. So how likely are you to recommend us to a friend? Let's say 10. And it says, why did you give your score? Please explain. 
Um, hmm. See, I can respond with voice or text. Why did I give my score? It seems like a pretty straightforward product. Um, nothing else to add. Typical answer. And in real time, our platform will analyze it and follow up with a question to get deeper insight. And typically this was only available with a call or an interview, but now with voice form, you're able to have the insight you'd collect from a call or an interview at the scale of a survey. So it says, I understand you find the product straightforward, but can you elaborate on what specifically in influenced your score? Are there any particular aspects that you appreciated or thought could be improved? Hmm. That's a great thought provoking question. Let's go ahead and dive into it again. Um, yeah, I really like how easy voice form was to connect with Salesforce. It was very straightforward and only took a few minutes. An area that I think could be improved would be the translation abilities. And I know that's coming soon, but I think that's definitely an area that can be improved. So I mentioned translation because voice forms can be answered in multiple languages. And by the time you watch this video, that should be live as well. So we're going to go ahead and finish here. Awesome. So we've submitted our voice form. We're going to go back to our voice form account to see what those responses kind of uh, looked like. So there we have it, the Salesforce integration demo. We have our form here and we're back to the share page. So you can share via link. You can embed directly on a web page. But given the fact that we're here discussing Salesforce, please, please, please watch our other video on how to integrate voice form into Service Cloud or in Salesforce in general. You'll find it directly in our listing. Now, let's say you're receiving results. You'll pop in here to your results dashboard. There's a few things you'll see. So the first thing you'll see is your overall kind of insights dashboard. You have your participant statistics. You have the overview of your questions. So here we have sentiment. So we're actually tracking sentiment over time. This is really useful for custom companies that are looking to understand how cu customer and consumer sentiment is changing over time. Was there something that happened during a specific week where sentiment popped and everyone was much happier or not as happy? This allows you to really track trends over time. Um, and you can filter based on kind of a date range or how you'd like it grouped. Then you can filter by question. So we're going to filter by question here. Uh, we only have one response here. Obviously, we just filled this out. Uh, but let's say we want to see what everyone said about this question. We have the top mentioned keywords. We have the average sentiment. And as you begin to collect more and more responses, you will ultimately have um, more keywords and the sentiment. Obviously, not everyone will be 100% positive. Um, obviously, we can we can aim for that, but it will be much more robust and you'll be able to filter the positive responses, the negative responses, keywords, and so on. As we begin to dive into it, you can listen to your response. You can read your transcript. You can like a response, maybe you like it. Um, or you can begin to maybe export the, the results. So if you just want to export directly from voice form, um, you can just click export via CSV or Excel, and that would download either all of the answers uh, from that question or the entire survey. Obviously, when passing data to Salesforce, um, it goes right into your Salesforce dashboard, whether it's uh, the responses or re respondent data, it'll all be there and it's all highlighted in the other video in our listing. Please watch it. I know I mentioned that I think twice already, so the third time's a charm. So let's say we want to filter by respondent. You'll have a bunch of respondent data. So let's say we want to see, we have one respondent. If, if we ask for their name or we pass metadata, uh, or we would then have their name or email pop up there. And given you're working with Salesforce and a CRM already, it's super straightforward. So we have a summary of the entire response. We have um, the, the NPS score. We have the first response and then the follow-up response as well as the transcription. And this was just me um, 
naturally speaking. And that, as you can see, it's much more when you do um, use your voice and ultimately when you're, you're kind of followed up with. We also collect partial responses, meaning if someone maybe forgot to click submit, uh, sometimes customers are on the go, they can't always click submit, you'll still have their response so you won't lose any data. That's one of our key values is we don't want you to ever lose any data and we want to make sure you keep it. So uh, we have this partial responses kind of tab here. Obviously we don't have any here right now, but they would be there. And so that pretty much does it for this brief demo. Um, I really appreciate for you uh, for watching this. VoiceForm has been used by thousands of companies around the world for NPS programs, CSAT programs, CES programs, even employee feedback programs. So if you ever have do any if you ever have any questions or want help setting up VoiceForm, we can always help you. We have a very responsive support team. Um, so we have our support chat right there. You can always reach out to. Uh, we also have some documentation in our and our help center in this documentation tab. Thanks for watching once again. And for a final time, please watch the other video on how to connect VoiceForm to Salesforce so you can seamlessly pass data from VoiceForm to Salesforce. I should also mention VoiceForm surveys can be distributed across channels, whether it's in chat, email, kind of all, everywhere. So wherever your customer is, that's where they're going to be filling out a voice form. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.